Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the young adult novel Essence and historical fantasy novel I Am Mercy. And right now we're gonna ignore the fact that my hair is still slightly damp from the shower I just took to talk about how apparently I go back to college next week. So this summer has been a very busy one. I've been working, vacationing, not doing anything, and now I realize that not only do I get my wisdom teeth removed next week, I also start college next week. So this upcoming semester I'm going to be a junior, which means I am halfway through college and halfway through, you know, this, this fluffy stage where I'm an adult but not an adult. Because after I graduate college I'm really an adult and then I'm really screwed and then like I have to support myself. But with next year being my junior year, I am taking four classes, an internship, and an independent study just to keep myself on my toes. My internship is a marketing one for the local farm that I'm near. Uh, my independent study is where I'm writing the first 30 pages of my third novel and reading four books and writing a response paper on each book. And my four classes are German, women's literature, women's writing, something like that, methods of literary study, and what is the last one? Oh, Beatles. I'm taking a course on the Beatles. I have two hardcore reading classes, the women's literature one and the methods of literary study, and then my professor also was kind enough to notify me that the Beatles history class is also very, um, heavy reading apparently. I don't know if that means it's heavy reading for a regular student or considered heavy reading for uh, an English major, but we'll find out. Anyways, I wanted to do a book haul because this semester I am going to basically have 20 books that are required. Uh, most of them are novels and only one is a textbook and that would be my German textbook that I haven't bought yet because it's like 200 plus dollars and I'm cheap, and I really don't feel like spending that much money on a textbook. But I thought I'd do my little book haul today. So first up on the book haul is for my Beatles course, because if you ask me, I think that's gonna be the funnest course. We'll find out later. But I have three um, relatively large textbooks, and the, all the fonts in them are relatively small. Um, I thought this was going to be a fun, easy course. Now I'm looking at the textbook like, eh, maybe not. We'll find out. The first book is Read the Beatles by... I don't know who, but it's edited by June Skinner Sawyers. So I, I, I don't know what this is all about. Oh, it's, it's a whole bunch of articles by a whole bunch of people. Then we have Revolution in the Head, the Beatles records in the 60s by Ian MacDonald. And then my personal favorite, just cause I like the cover, but it's also the largest and most scary looking. It's Shout the Beatles in Their Generation by Philip Norman. These next two are for my Methods of Literary Study class. Um, I think there might be some other books that are in the pile next to me, but I'm not really sure if they're for the Methods of Literary Study or if they're for the woman's writing. So one is Modern Criticism and Theory, a reader, edited by John David and Nigel Wood, and once again, it's a very thick one that has, you know, different tidbits written by different writers. This next one is much lighter, so therefore I favor it over that heavy one I was just holding. It's Beginning Theory, an Introduction to Literary and Culture Theory by Peter Berry. And these two, I believe, are indeed part of my theory class because I can't imagine them being part of the women's writers class because they aren't. These two are not written by women. So the first one is a classic that I'm sure we've all heard of, especially if you've taken U.S. history. It's Uncle Tom's Ca Cabin, which I just realized is written by a woman, so maybe this is for my women's writing class. As you can see, I don't have my stuff together yet. It's by Harriet Beecher Stowe, and it may or may not be for this class. But this one is written by Shakespeare, Hamlet. I've already read Hamlet. In fact, I have a whole textbook of just Shakespeare stuff, but the textbook is really heavy. I didn't feel like carrying around a giant textbook, so I'm carrying around a little Hamlet book anyways. These last set of books I know nothing about. They are, for the most part, uh, for my woman's 
uh, literature writer class that I really need to get the exact name of because apparently I'm a little bit clueless right now. But um, I know next to nothing about these books. I've never really heard of most of them before. And to be honest, I'm not even sure if I bought the correct ones, but I did follow the ISBN number and stuff, but they just look very strange and stuff. This first one is Cal Roy by Rebecca Rush. Then we have The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton. Mean Spirit by Linda Hogan. Hopeless Cell, I probably said that wrong. Or Early Times in Massachusetts by Catherine Maria Sedwick. Ruth Hall, A Domestic Tale of the Present Time by Fanny Fern. Like seriously, I think I bought the wrong book because this, this just doesn't look right. One, look at how thin this is. There's no back cover. And I don't, this, like, how tiny is that font? I, I don't think I bought the right book. It was only $10, so it's not that big of a loss, but I, I really don't think I bought the right book. Then we have Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. And again, I, I, I really don't know if this is correct because the formatting just doesn't look good on the inside, and then there's no back cover, and... and I, I just feel like this is not a book that a college would require me, but I don't know. A Mercy, a novel by Toni Morrison. Anyways, as you can see, I am drowning in books and literature. All those books I'll probably be reading within the next three months. We'll see if I go insane. That's why you guys should subscribe. See if I go insane. See if I, I, I don't lose my marbles. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy my last week of freedom and sanity. Be sure to comment down below if you're starting up the semester, if you're starting up high school, middle school, whatever, or if you're just, you know, an adult working a day job. Tell me all about it. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.